So once again, I welcome you on today's webcast on which we will be specifically talking about profit maximization on the sideways market, on the uptrend and how to minimize your losses in case of a falling market. <clears throat> so I am your host for today. As always, my name is Dmitry. I'm the portfolio manager trader and I'm not the only one hosting today. Uh, my colleague Erwin is going to be assisting me in the chat. So not a single who makes, yeah, he actually makes sure that not a single question is left unanswered. So yeah, big shout out to Erwin. So let's start. <clears throat> so on previous webcasts, I focused mainly on five exit strategies from the market, how to launch the bot, what makes the investment change different from the bot profit. And we also covered some <clears throat> tips and clues, some use cases. But today I want to focus mostly on what makes the classic bot different from the S bot. And most importantly, what are the optimal strategies at current market? And I will also demonstrate my real cases and explain the logic behind my entry and exit points, as well as will show you what makes the narrow grid spacing different from the wide grid spacing in terms of profitability and the risk management. No, actually that's strange because it should be all right. Nothing I've changed since the last time. Trevor, please check your uh, video quality and settings just to make sure that you are not watching on some other devices the same webcast. So yeah, <clears throat> let's move on. Before we jump into the trading action and bot configurations, let's quickly refresh and I will remind you about the power of artificial intelligence that enabled us at BitsGap to create these optimal trading configurations so that you are now able to stay in the market 24 seven and to get consistent profit inflow to your balance. So a quick refresh. Um, this is Cardano trading to USDT and as you can clearly see we have the trading range which is defined by the upper limit price and the lower limit price and in order to sell something you must possess it on your balance so in this case you must possess Cardano so that the board could place all of these sell limit orders and in other words this yeah let me use the laser pointer so in order for the board to sell all of these uh, Cardanas you must possess it on your balance as I already mentioned and basically these are all of your take profits so these grid levels they are known as grid levels they are your take profits because when you sell something you get the profit from the market so that's your take profit in other words consequently in order to buy Cardano later so that you would be able to sell it again to make profit you must have enough of the quote currency in this case so that the bot would be able to plot all of these buy limit orders and that creates this everlasting trading process as long as the price stays within the trading boundaries within the trading range <clears throat> so let's move on once again, you have the highest sell price, which is at the upper limit price. You have the lowest buy price. And in between, you have all of these grid levels, depending on the amount of grid levels that you configured <coughs> in the bot settings. So you have the current price. And these are all of your grid levels. Current price is 11,000, oh, sorry, 1,100 to 250. So Imagine that the price then moves upwards and it triggers the first sell limit order. So what's going to happen is that the bot will execute this 
sell order and eventually it will place a new buy limit order right below that price at 11 sorry at 11,250 at this price your new buy order is going to be created so the arithmetical logic here how the bot profit is accumulated is simply you take the profit from a completed sell order right here so your profit is 11,500 then you plot a new buy limit order so you must basically automatically deduct this amount and what is left is your profit that's the net profit net of all fees in this example I don't take into account the fees but they are actually already priced in so imagine that this is just your pure profit which goes directly straight to your mm, available balance which you can later use in any way you want so you can launch the new board or you can uh, manually trade or you can withdraw this money from your account so that's up to you based on your financial goals with uh, the power of artificial intelligence we can now achieve a high frequency trading so you see that in this example I have lent trading to BDC and it has it, it has managed to make 7000 99 trades in just 35 days so that's 202 trades per day consistently without any rest the bot simply doesn't have any emotions so it just sticks to the plan and to the strategy that you assign to to the bot right so that's the one of the biggest advantages of automated trading is that you don't have to spend and waste a tremendous amount of time hours on manually trading scanning the chart and so on the bot does the job for you the next thing is already i mentioned the consistent profit inflow so <clears throat> the bot is always looking for the opportunities to buy low and sell high so regardless of the market trend either it's going upward sideways or the market is falling the price is constantly moving side um, sorry it's constantly swinging so that means that the bot can always buy low and sell high to extract these profits from the market on your behalf and add it up together these profits they make up a decent return on a monthly basis on annual return all right and i will show you my real examples and you will see what is the annualized return and some other key metrics and yes it is emotionless it trades 24 7 fully automated <coughs> and the pure magic of uh, bot generating profits is that this profit is it, it goes directly to your balance it is always positive so regardless once again regardless of the market trend upside sideways falling market it will always make profits so here you see the visualization and yeah so that's the, the another advantage mm, of artificial intelligence that we've enabled in bitscap trading is that <clears throat> you can always backtest uh, different trading strategies and configurations before jumping into the real trading so with the um, absolutely risk-free trading mode that we have a paper trade that's the demo mode and the feature of backtest you can um, you can find out what would the board have generated for you if you would have launched the board back at some point in time so let's say a month ago uh, weeks ago days ago you can get this uh, key metric which is known as bot profit and uh, about so what would be basically the return of your strategy so it will it can actually backtest strategies with uh, the amount of grid levels that you set so if you want to backtest the uh, s bot or the classic bot mm, with only 10 grid levels or with 50 grid levels or even with 100 grid levels it can automatically backtest and provide you with this key insights on what would have been the return if you would have launched it back at some point in time so 
and the profit is generated in the quote currency all right so if you are interested let's say in basic attention token trading to USDT but you wonder I mean on on what metrics to base your expectations so using the back test you see that during the period of 30 days it has managed to make 15% in the quote currency whereas a raven has managed to make 16% uh, ontology trading to BTC 10% BitTorrent trading to BNB uh, almost 9% so if you are satisfied with these metrics more or less these metrics you can use to on which you can base your expectations it doesn't mean that in the future like in the next month you will get the same results no that doesn't work like that that's backtesting it's based on the statistical results based on the historical uh, prices so the past results they do not guarantee future results but you can use these metrics to at least get the an un understanding on of what would be the return all right so now let's <coughs> actually go straight to the action and we will mm, launch our first bot so let me open the page so you go to the main page and here you select bots and <coughs> that's actually my real account here so let's use this for now but later I will switch to the demo mode because in the demo mode I have more active bots because I use uh, the demo mode as the platform for my experiments so before actually launching any um, bot configurations on my real account I am using the demo mode just to see to find out proper configurations and so on so here it is the demo mode you see the amount of active bots that I currently have on the left side you see the investments allocated to each of the bot you see the cryptocurrency pair and some of the key metrics like investment change and the bot profit which we will cover in six minutes so stay with me I have a separate slide to explain what makes bot profit different from the investment change and what actually unites them and how to use these metrics and how to not to get frustrated when you see some uh, you see some differences in the uh, percentages so uh, on the right side you have this panel and you see automatically I am in the advanced mode already so you see I have this option to choose an as bot strategy or the classic bot so for the as bot <coughs> we have what we call the highest frequency trading algorithm and the if I switch to as bot you see it automatically automatically defines the trading range for me but you can actually uh, change it so you can drag the upper limit price lower or you can drag the lower limit price higher and now is your new configuration so you can actually have the sell side narrow and you can have a wider buy zone but for this configuration it is even visually um, already quite obvious that you must have more of the quote currency because your your buy zone is wider in comparison with the sell zone so you see it's clearly defined here with this investment amount that's you see 0 0.03 bitcoins that's exactly almost 347 USD as of current exchange rate and in order to initiate this bot you must have a thousand perils which goes to this sell side and the system will automatically uh, distribute this investment allocation so as with the quote currency you see you must have that amount of bitcoins so it's definitely around 70% <coughs> of your total allocation which goes directly to the uh, buy side so this quote currency will be used to later as soon as the price reaches this levels it will buy peril to later sell it at a higher price and yeah 
if you want to have a wider sell zone and a narrow buy zone you see the change you see you now must have almost a 3000 perils on your account and if you actually don't have it on your account then the system will automatically buy it for you as soon as you click on uh, initiate the bot but you see that I am not able to launch it because I already have it trading for me so let's switch to maybe another one which I don't have but before that let's check the balance and you see it's it looks like I don't have enough of the USDT and Bitcoin so I I will get rid of some trades maybe this one let's close it right now yeah so just I will also later explain what are the options to close the bot but as of now let's just let's just close it all right let's just abolish this trade to get some uh, free cash all right so here we go now we have some bitcoins here we go refresh and now <coughs> I can once again reconsider opening this trade on peril trading to Bitcoin and also here I can choose the cryptocurrency pair and you might have noticed that below I have this strategies section which is known as recommended strategies so these are the uh, cryptocurrencies uh, based on the monthly performance so it turns out that band trading to USDT is the top performer as the bot profit for this one is 208 all right for one month if you want to see what is the <coughs> A recommendation based on the weekly backtest result then you see that comp trading to Bitcoin is in the top one so the top three is iris trading to BNB comp and trading to USDT so these are three cryptocurrencies that you can actually consider now for trading so this is your source of uh, trade ideas as we already have this pre-calculated uh, backtest results so based on these performers you can choose an optimal cryptocurrency for you to trade and if you want to see well actually let me show it right now if you want to see the backtest results you just click on let's say comp straight into bitcoin you will see that it is now displayed over here you get the automatic trading range allocation which you can once again change in any way you want and you can backtest this one so you can click on backtesting results and let's say you want to see the results from the 6th of August until today so we will let the system to calculate the uh, results let me actually refresh it once again because it's it can be due to my internet connection issues that it's not calculating 15th of July until let's say today it's actually not the problem of beats cap that it's not loading right now it's more like the problem of my MacBook as it doesn't have enough of the computation power sometimes to handle these calculations so yeah you see we have now some results plotted on the chart and it takes time for it to calculate <coughs> the results but I don't know why it just got stuck here for some reason so let's come back to this a little bit later just don't want to waste your time so moving forward let's say we select band trading to Bitcoin um, let's assume that we've defined that our trading range is gonna be like this and the investment allocation I want to be let's say 0 0.03 because I remember that I have this amount right now well actually let's use 04 and you see that in order to launch this bot with a total amount of 180 grid levels I must either have this amount of bitcoins or I have to adjust the grid quantity so that I would be able to launch this bot with this investment allocation so as, as I don't have this amount right now I will adjust the grid quantity so it turns out that that for this one to launch it, I must have 
this amount of investment allocation with the grid quantity of 7 which I can actually also readjust and let's say I want to place 10 levels so here's what I got I either have to have this amount or I have to readjust let's use maybe another example on another exchange let's assume uh, OKEX and let's see my balance okay so here I have more BTC let's use strategies GNX straight into Bitcoin quickly uh, let's use this one uh, already defined you see it's almost a perfect sideways market so this configuration look looks perfect for me it is trading from the support level up to the resistance level and actually it has plotted this trading configuration almost automatically I just have some make some tiny changes here so I will adjust so you see now I can initiate this board with 63 grid levels this is my total investment amount that's exactly 4500 USDT so if I click on start the system will tell me that in order to launch this board I must have that amount of GNX on my account in order to launch it and notice that the the number is different so here it's almost 14,000 whereas here it's 13,000 sorry that's 134,000 so you see different number that's because uh, the uh, fees that we will pay in this configuration is already priced in so that's why we will buy more GNX to pay in fees so as I don't have this amount on my balance I will click on yes buy and the system will automatically buy this amount at the market price but you are not actually obliged to uh, <coughs> to use this option to buy at the market price because we all know that buying at the market order you actually pay a fee all right whereas if you go to spot trading smart trading over here you can buy this amount of GNX using the limit order or a smart trade that we have but just to make it simple for you and to make it quicker let's just stick to the plan and I will initiate this board with a market fill order just wait for some time to refresh the page I definitely have to change the laptop <laughs> so sorry for that sometimes it just works properly and smoothly and sometimes quite rarely but it does it it, it can be quite laggy so I s apologize for that <coughs> all right so let's not waste the time and go straight to the presentation <coughs> now is actually the time to mm, as you saw all of these configurations where you can change the upper limit price lower limit price which defines your trading range and automatically mm, the system defines a optimal trading range for you you can always change this lower price and upper price as well as the grid quantity investment uh, value you can use the percentage to lower your investment so these are two sections where you can uh, manage your investment allocation so now is the time to define what makes Calper different from the classic bot so the primary difference is that this one is the classic bot and you see here that the um, allocation in terms of the amount of the base currency to buy is equal so here's the parity so the system will buy that amount of BitTorrent at that price and at another price it will buy the same amount of uh, coins which if we multiply is gonna result in a different investment allocation so here the equilibrium is reached only in the amount allocation all right whereas the investment sum is different so at that level you will spend I mean the system the algorithm will have to spend this amount of USDT to purchase this amount and at other prices you see the investment sum varies so that's what makes what defines the uh, classic bot algorithm it only 
creates a parity in the total amount of the base currency which it purchases whereas when it comes to uh, the asbot which is known to be and has proven to be uh, the, the 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 algorithm with the highest frequency trading configuration you say in in this case the uh, parity is achieved in the investment sum so the amount is different you see at that price it will buy this amount of coins and at that price the uh, investment is going to be different so the total investment is the same for each level so the parity in this case is achieved in the in in the total investment allocation so once again in case of the classic board the parity is in the amount whereas in case of the as board the parity is reached in the investment allocation and that leads to sometimes different results so it can be that in some cases the classic bot configuration will bring you more profits or more losses in case of the falling market whereas it can be that in case of this configuration using the as bot configuration you can reach higher returns so it's actually there is no golden rule and it's absolutely up to your um, experience uh, your practice to find out which one suits you the most and I mostly stick to the as bot configuration as it allows me to plot up to 180 of the grid levels it has trading stop loss take profit feature well the classic bot has all of these features as well but I prefer the equality the parity in the total investment allocation rather than in the um, amount of coins to be purchased so and most importantly the algorithm in the as board is <coughs> designed to um, trade within the investment um, allocation horizon so it tries not to go beyond this so it tries to, to trade within this allocated investment in case of the classic board it can be that <coughs> if not cash uh, is enough for him it will take some extra from your available balance but it's only in rare cases and yeah so that can be the case so if if this has if, it, if this happens on the rising market when the classic bot takes some extra from your available balance then this is good for you because you buy something more on the rising market and hence your profit is going to be higher but Conversely, if it's the the falling market and the classic bot takes some extra from your balance, which is actually a very tiny portion of extra of what I call extra, so don't worry, the system in both the as bot and the uh, classic bot sticks to the plan of not going beyond the investment horizon. So we are constantly mm, working on this optimization to find out what is the best one what is the best solution for the classic bot the original one and what is the best um, configuration for the as bot all right and some other features like built-in uh, security features i will explain to you at the very end of this uh, webcast so stay with me to get all of these features so as we were trying to launch the bot uh, let's finally do this let's use um, something trading to Bitcoin let's use X SXP <clears throat> let's reduce this down to 50 grid levels yeah the balance is not enough just quantity okay please so this time don't let me down I just I just need to show this example finally how to launch the bot for some reason it's always the case only on the webcast it's never the case when it comes to real trading and um, and demo account optimization it's just for some reason it's it's not responding as of now <coughs> okay so le let's assume that you press the start board it buys the required amount of the um, base currency and then automatically it will be displayed over here so all of your active bots they are over here and you can click on the view button to see um, 
all of the completed orders, the amount of profit generated. So you see that we also deduct the fee that you pay for each of the trade. So the, the, the profit that you see in the bot profit section is net of all fees. So that's your pure profit. So that's the feature that not every platform um, currently has in the cryptocurrency space. So that's the feature that we've developed here. We have this all priced in and full transparency is provided. So you can get all of these metrics over here. You can export in CSV format. So to calculate some extra <coughs> metrics if you want, let's say sharp ratio, maybe sortino ratio and some other things. You can also click on open orders to see at which price and what will be the amount of the base currency that the bot will buy. And you can see all of these orders on the chart. Let's click on, let's say, Cardano trading to USDT, the one that I have right now. So you see all of the trades that it managed to execute. So grid circles, they represent buy orders and uh, red circles, they represent sell orders. And all of the active orders, they are all displayed as these uh, lines. So as soon as the price reaches this sell order, it will sell the base currency well, a portion of the sell uh, of the base currency and then later we'll place a new buy limit order somewhere over here. So the concept of grid spacing here arises. That's the space between your grid levels. All right. So <coughs> the wider, I mean, the, the bigger is the grid spacing, the, the higher is the distance between your orders, the bigger is the profit potential because that creates the marginal effect. All right, that's that's quite logical that the lower you buy, the higher you sell, the bigger is your marginal profit. Whereas when you have a grid spacing, let's say you reduced to, sorry, not reduced to, but increased up to, um, like over here, I have 130 grid levels. So you see this, all of them are very tightly uh, allocated to each other so that leaves almost no option for the price to not trigger my levels all right so even though my grid spacing is reduced and that means that my potential profit is also reduced I have more chances that the price will trigger all of my orders all right so that's something for you to consider. If you are chasing for bigger returns, then uh, you must be prepared that the price, as you have wider grid spacing, the price might not trigger your level. So you will be so you will stay with your open orders and no profit generated. Whereas in this tight narrow setup where you have grid spacing let's say from 0 0.1 to 0 0.5 then you maximize these chances that the price will eventually trigger your al almost all of the orders plotted on the chart resulting in this consistent profit inflow tiny profits but added up together they still make up a decent return so you see all of the metrics over here you see in my case uh, my top performer here I think is land trading to USDT so with the total investment of almost 3000 I've managed to make 715 dollars so automatically so this amount is on, on my balance all right so the key difference when it comes to automated trading and manual trading is that in automated trading you get this consistency all right so the <clears throat> the algorithm ensures a consistent profit inflow to your balance because it always buys low and and, and sells high automatically whereas in manual trading uh, you buy something and you wait for the price to go higher and let's assume that you bought something and when yes the price went higher and now you see that your unrealized profit in is in the positive zone but still this unrealized profit it's it's not tangible all right it's not in your balance yet whereas in automated trading you you get this consistent profit inflow 
So be honest to yourself and ask yourself how many times you skipped this opportunity to lock in profit while manually trading and because of your greediness because you were expecting the price to go even higher so that's why you didn't take profit from the market so this is kind kind of um, discouraging emotion in trading when you don't get what you expect whereas in automated trading you don't have this emotion anymore all right you get this consistency all right so the bot consistently generates profits for you and i am very um satisfied with this metric here so for the period of 27 days 24 percent in total automatically and I, I i didn't spend a minute on monitoring this trade or making any adjustments i just made sure that at the very beginning at the very launch i had properly set all of the configuration settings and i'm just now waiting for the board to generate profits on my behalf so that's what i get from automation so now is the time to define what makes investment change different from the bot profit so what really makes it different is that <coughs> well actually they are not different they are united in a way that you see, that's BitTorrent trading to USDT with the total investment of 400. And you see the investment change is 12%. So that means that up to my, sorry, um, I am, I am up. I mean, I am making profits by 12% as an added value to this initial investment allocation. So, <clears throat> so that's around what? $48 something like that and the way the way the bot has managed to achieve this investment change is because the price of the uh, base currency was moving upwards so that means the value change was positively affected and the bot was making profits for me in the quote currency so this 8% is already priced in in the investment change and here's the calculation just to uh, make sure that it works the way I describe it. So the first method to calculate is basically you take your investment allocation and multiply it by the investment change. So that's now your current investment value. And the profit in this case is the difference between the current investment value and the initial value. So that's $48. And the second method is by taking the... <coughs> the amount in the open orders and in order to take to get this data you click on view okay so the the page is lagging yeah so you click on view and you see you have in open order some base currency and usdt so if you add it up together this will be your current investment value same what i'm doing here i take what is in my open orders plus bot profit so that's exactly the same investment current value and the profit is again the difference between the current investment value and the initial investment value so that's almost 49 usdt same number same number so you see now that bot profit is always positive all right so it makes profits generates profits for you regardless of the market trend Whereas investment change is also affected by the value change of the base currency. So I will now show you all of these scenarios which affect your investment change. So the first one here is the rising market. We are having here an upside momentum. The, the bot just keeps doing its job. It just buys low, sells high, buys low, sells high. So it just generates this profit for us, all right? <clears throat> Whereas you see that the price of, in this case, that's BNB trading to Ethereum is also appreciating. And as we have always, well, almost always, um, some of the base currency in open trades, that means that the value of BNB on this rising market is also positively affected. So that creates this double effect. <coughs> you see? 
the value change of the BNB and the bot profit generated. So that is what I call active investment change, which is basically the value change plus the bot profit. So that's the first optimal market at which you are looking for to launch your bots because at this market the bot is able to achieve higher returns for you. Whereas <clears throat> on the sideways market, I really love the sideways market, especially when it comes to automated trading, is because on the sideways market with automated trading, <clears throat> I am now able to earn during the stagnation. So the sideways market is known as the period of stagnation, right? Because the price is kind of moving upwards, then it reverts from the resistance level and again moves downwards, bounces off the support level. So on average, you say it stays somewhere in between, in the neutral zone. So if assuming that you purchased the BNB at that point, it, at, the, at the middle price, so by that point you would be in the zero profit area all right whereas with automation you basically let the bot to generate profits for you so it uses your bnb to generate profit in ethereum all right so that's the effect on the sideways market and here's the example that's what i define a sideways market for bitcoin cash and notice that during this period if i would simply buy bitcoin cash at that price at that point of time where you see my pointer and you see the hodl phrase here so uh, assuming that i purchased bitcoin cash at that price and then i see that the price has moved upwards and now i am, now I am up by five percent so a simple hodl strategy would bring me only five percent so from that point up to current price so that's the distance from that price up to this this price that's exactly five percent whereas if i launch the bot if i'm using automated trading my investment change is almost triple higher so you see it's 14 percent that's because of the added value generated by the bot as it was buying low and selling high on every market swing you see all of these trades here that's the 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 job of the bot which it has successfully completed each time buying low and selling high and that is why automated trading algorithms at Beatscap they significantly outperform simple hodl strategy on the sideways market so launching bots on the sideways market is actually what you are looking for in order to maximize your returns automatically and and now is the time to find out what are the instru instruments developed by Bitscap to boost your uh, trading results and to secure your profits. So the first one is the trading up feature. And <clears throat> um, you say you have this trading range which is defined by the upper limit price and the lower limit price. And as the price moves upwards, establishes a new higher high over here with a trading up feature on you basically let the trading range to follow the price so now your trading range is going to be here because it will follow the price accordingly and by that i mean it will readjust um, upper limit price and lower limit price accordingly with this upside momentum so you see eventually the price then again moves upwards establishes even a higher high so in this case the the trading range will follow the price whereas assuming that the price eventually breaches the lower limit price so it goes lower the trading range and as we know the bot is only trading within the trading range so in this case as it breached the lower limit price the bot wasn't able to execute trades at, at this area because the market was at that time trading below the trading range. But what will happen if the price then comes back? So if it bounces again back, 
and returns to the trading range then the trading activity will continue so the bot will continue trading for us if the price then eventually establishes even a higher high you will find out that your trading range is will, will will be moved accordingly so that's the feature of trading up it it ensures that the bot stays in the market all the time when the market is moving upwards so it will only follow the upside momentum and it never follows the downside so that is why it is called a trading up and this feature you will find over here a trading up and in case if you forget what this is all about you have this small tape here which explains exactly this feature so to elaborate this to uh, topic further I will explain this example here that's ng trading to bitcoin that's my real trade and in in this trade configuration i had my training up feature on so you say initially my trading range was defined by this upper and lower limit prices but as the price eventually breached the uh, upper limit price so it went beyond the uh, trading range <clears throat> as i had my trading up feature on the 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 uh, trading range successfully followed the price appreciation and you see all of these trades it has managed to uh, execute and now my trading range is over here so spot the difference without the trading up feature on i would get stuck over here and none of this action would have occurred in my case whereas with the trading up feature on i basically let my bot to follow the price and now you see that my action is happening over here at the highest price so i was able to follow the upside momentum and that's how i maximize my returns automatically so with the training up feature on you don't have to worry about the price anymore and if the market goes upwards and at that time you were sleeping or maybe you were at the plane well you i mean you just were online offline sorry with the training up feature on um the board wouldn't skip this upside momentum all right so you don't have to worry about this that's why you should consider using a training up feature on if you want to achieve a full automation because some traders experienced traders professional traders they <clears throat> sometimes um, sometimes they use this training up feature on sometimes they don't because on some trades they prefer this manual control even though they are using automated trading so they'd rather so they'd rather um, so they'd rather relaunch the bot at another price later so they'd rather close the bot and then look for the price to move downwards and relaunch it at a lower price right before a, an upside continuation so it can be the case but if you want to stay always in the market and regardless of this short-term falls all right because on this short-term falls your investment change will be of course negatively affected but be true to yourself you won't be able to skip all of these short fall terms because you cannot predict the market with this 100 percent accuracy all right and that's why using training up feature on you basically let the bot to follow the upside momentum 24 7. So you see that's the example of Yota trading to USDT and in, in this case I don't have my trading up feature on so that's why as soon as the price breached the upper limit price and went and the price went higher uh, no action happening here that's because I got stuck with my trading setup at, at this trading range whereas if I would have switched my trading up feature on then the board would have managed to make profits on this upside momentum as well so my return would be higher comparing with this one that i have here <clears throat> so the training up feature on we covered it now another one that which is a actually a benefit which 
derives from a built-in algorithm we've developed the bot profit offsets negative value change on the falling market so here's how let's assume that you've purchased the base currency quantum here at that price at that point of time where you see the hodl and the price eventually moved downward so you would be in the minus 6.88 percent of the investment change whereas with automation sorry with automation as the board was trading even even though the market was falling the board still was buying low and sell high and that resulted in a profit generated over here so this profit is then used to offset the negative value change because remember when we calculate the investment change the bot profit is already priced in so in instead of having minus almost seven percent with automation you would have beer only a minus 3.18 percent of a loss so that's almost a double hedging effect all right automation can significantly uh, minimize your losses on a falling market and here is a perfect example of how it does it all right so once again consider a simple hodl strategy minus six well almost seven percent whereas with automation that's only minus three percent so it literally saves your profits because of this added value so the sources of trade ideas the one that we've covered is recommended strategies so you know the logic behind this one so we will skip this slide now back testing so the backtesting once again it takes the historical prices and it simulates the performance of the board as if you would have launched it back at some point of time in the past so it takes into account the volatility risk value change well actually it doesn't it takes only the bot profit risk and volatility but in the example that i'm going to use right now i also take into account the value change and here's how so that's the example ng trading to bitcoin from the 11th of April until the 11th of May, you see it has managed to make almost 34% in bot profit. So that's the bot profit in the quote currency and the value change of the base currency is not taken into account here. All right. And we are actually working on this to, to take into account the value change of the base currency. So uh, hopefully sooner or later, you would be able to use the backtesting with an investment change already sorry with the value change already priced in so as of now we are using the instruments that we've developed as a way they are presented so the bot profit and from that point that's exactly the date of the launch 11th of april over here where you see my laser pointing at so the upside momentum potential was almost a 66 percent so from that point until the upper higher high 66 percent value change whereas the risk was minus 34 percent so from that point down to the lowest over here minus 34 percent so keep this in mind another example bnb trading to busd same period but different profit generated by the bot different uh, upside momentum value and different risk so you see that's from that point up to that 35 and from that point down to the lowest minus 23 so when we compare these cryptocurrencies we now can see which one is the optimal choice for us so based on our risk appetite whether we are quite conservative when it comes to trading so that means that we'd rather stay with strategies which have lower risk and in this case lower profits whereas for those who are looking for maximized returns they must have a high well most likely that you will have to take a higher risk so Angie in this case is the choice for those traders investors who are looking for higher returns for a given risk so you see the bot profit for Angie 34 percent that's almost by 21 percent higher than the one generated by BNB but the the risk for Angie is also higher so for in order to have this higher return you must take a higher risk so that's why this risk is justified over here and it's higher by almost 11 percent so once again if you are a risk taker then it could be that ng is your choice whereas if you are quite risk averse so you'd rather stay with some decent still decent returns because 
13% per month is a very decent return for a given level of risk. So using backtesting, you can find those optimal cryptocurrencies and you can compare them with each other to find those that bring you, um, I mean, offer you optimal returns and optimal risk. Yeah, so let's come back to the uh, main page here. And you see, let's say I choose X SXP. Well, actually, let's use Ethereum and compare Ethereum with BNB in recent times. So, and by the way, if I if I choose grid quantity 180, it will simulate trading using 180 grid levels. But I will stick to let's say 20. And just well, okay, 17, whatever. Show back testing. And yeah, so that's the period of 30 days. For some reason, it again takes time to launch this. <laughs> but guys, I promise you, it has never been the case before. Especially then I'm not hosting the webinar. It has always perfectly calculated these backtest results. But as of now, for some reason, it's just, it's just lagging. I, I, I don't know what to do. But yeah you saw the picture here your results should look like this so it will calculate 30 days result or if you select another range then it can be a seven day result it can be 10 days result so it's up to you all right and you can use these metrics to compare with other cryptocurrencies to find the optimal one for you so before i explain the last topic of today's webcast let's just come back once again and go over some trades that I have here to validate my logic so I think lent yeah that's my best one well actually let me use my real account to show you some of my real trades to show you that I'm actually using my real money to trade as well so this is one of my accounts here and I have right now three open trades that's BNB trading to USDT, uh, Ethereum, and basic attention token. So, for BNB, what I've noticed is that it is consistently moving respecting the support level. So, if I drag the line here, let me use the instrument that I have here on left panel. And let's make it, yeah, it's already white. Let's make it wider. Well, actually, so even though it has breached the support level as, rec as of recently, you see almost in all of the previous cases, it has successfully retested the support level and bounced off it. So in the history, I have this trading setup, BNB, which I launched at the fourth no, actually, you see, it 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 is. I mean, it, I closed it at the fourth of August, but I launched it in this case at the end of June. So if I look at the end of June, that's somewhere over here, and you see the price then moved upwards, respecting the support level. So that's why I stayed in this trade for such a long time. That's forty days up to until the fourth of uh, August. All right, because later I decided to launch this board with a new amount of grid levels. So I had. 40 grid levels before and the result was almost 78 USDT for this period so which is a quite decent return and then I decided to relaunch the bot with only 18 grid levels because I want now to have a wider grid spacing so I want to have now a higher profit potential and you see it is making for profits for me so even though I have launched it here and the price is now trading lower my investment change is zero whereas if you would simply hodl from that point down to current price you would be in the negative change zone so you would be down by well almost four percent you would be down by four percent but with automation i have a zero investment change right now so as i still expect the price to go up or higher and uh, that's why i stick to this configuration i also have ethereum 
Well, Ethereum is quite obvious because in general the market is moving upwards and Ethereum has proven to be one of those cryptocurrencies that follows the upside momentum when the Bitcoin uh, establishes new higher highs. It significantly, in many cases, outperforms in the percentage Bitcoin rally. So that's why I've launched this Ethereum configuration. F you see from that point of consolidation. So I've noticed here that the market was uh, forming a triangle symmetrical pattern well almost looked like this so and as i know on the rising market when you see these kind of patterns which is explained as a period of consolidation over here most likely to breach the later upper boundary so that's the uh, resistance level in this case and it eventually happened and now I'm trading over here as I have my trading up feature on so I keep making profits all right so I don't even waste any of my time on this I mean I just launched this and from time to time I just monitor the market just to make sure that we are still in the game and that's the result of this consistent profit inflow so that's the value that you get. You see, it has successfully managed to follow the market. Basic attention token, yeah. So well, it's up to you guys uh, to decide on 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 which foundational uh, disciplines to, to 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 generate your trade ideas. So either you're using technical analysis, fundamental analysis. Maybe you are a price action trader. Maybe you are trading from the support and resistance levels using the uh, volume profile indicator, RSI, uh, moving averages and some other indicators. Well, it's up to you. What I've noticed is that top five cryptocurrencies, as they are the most liquid, they tend to follow the support and resistance levels. So they almost all the time respect these levels. They bounce off the support level and they also revert from the resistance level. So I'm always looking for resistance levels and support levels, as well as looking for the moving averages to to validate the the strength of the trend. Yeah. So if you want to learn about the trading setups and which are the instruments, uh, I mean indicators to use to decide when to find optimal entries for your automated trading bots then you just go to bitgap main page go to a section about you click on block and in the block you will find out that uh, there are some recommended indicators about which i wrote some articles moving average rsi and examples are based on automated trading so use our block to expand your knowledge and to learn more about automated trading and finally secure trading the last section um yeah i'm very proud of this feature that we have that's the, the unique feature that we actually have here at bitscap is that the algorithm is designed to avoid almost all of the uh, possible dump and pump scenarios happening on the market so we know that there are quite many as 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 yeah as some traders call it shit coins because of their low liquidity and because of the manipulation happening on the market some whales as we also call them big market players they can buy and i mean and by buying they pump the the price and you see this is the result of the pump and they can now actually dump the market by selling big so that's why we have this built-in algorithm to avoid this extreme bump and dump scenarios so without optimization on the left side you see here the scenario without optimization the board would simply get stuck with all of these buy limit orders executed at the highest price so that's something you want to avoid you don't want to buy high you actually want to buy low you don't want to buy high it's the converse logic you actually want to sell high so in this case you would get stuck with your buy orders here and as you see the price eventually reverts back to its 
normal trading zone, all of these base currencies purchased at that price would significantly affect your investment change negatively in this case because the price has fallen. Whereas with optimization, optimization sorry, that we have at Bitscap, you are now able, well, I, that's the built-in the algorithm feature, so you don't have to switch it on like in case of the trading up and stop loss. Uh, it's just already built in the algorithm. You would have this smooth performance trading 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 dynamic all right so you wouldn't get stuck with your buy limit orders at the highest price the system avoids such extreme pumps and we are constantly working on this further optimization of such features to secure your trading and to ensure that you maximize your returns so this is our biggest challenge here we are working on so yeah that's it for today uh, let me see if you have some interesting questions because as always at the very end I look at some of the most interesting questions to to answer yeah by the way the, the question about the training on sorry about the training up feature can you change the options on a bot that's running like can you turn training up on if the bot is going that's the question from Zerfan well you say um, let me switch to my demo account no, actually I can use my real one. You see, if I click on view, I have my training up feature on because initially I switched this feature on and I can now switch it off, all right? Same if you, at the very beginning, at the inception of your trading configuration, if you haven't switched your training up feature on, then you can switch it on later, all right? So that ensures that you will stay in the market. <coughs> because it can be that the market at the time when you launch the bot is so volatile and you don't want to skip this opportunity to maximize your profits on its upside momentum then you just simply forgot to switch on the training up feature on that's why later then you click on you see here I have ERD training to USDT as bot but without T all right that means that I don't have a training up feature so if I click on view and now switch training up now I have it on and, in, and that means that as soon as the price reaches my upper limit and in this case my upper my upper limit is yeah this price so as soon as it reaches upper limit that's over here and breaches it with the training up feature on because I already have it on save changes the the, the training range will follow the price if the market moves eventually higher same applies to the stop loss and yeah w these features i mostly discussed on other previous webcasts so you can watch the uh, recordings that we have of some webcasts on the youtube channel but yeah stop loss is the basic risk management uh, order it's just in case if everything goes to hell the market is falling you want to limit your losses so as soon as the price reaches the stop loss the bot will automatically sell all of the base currency so that's going to be your 100% exit from the market there are actually some other options to end to close the bot which are presented over here you can sell at the market price right now so you can close it by selling all of the base currency left in your open order so it will uh, sell exactly this amount of ERD as a market sell order so that's your 100% exit from the market and you can also place limit sell order at a break even price because you see for ERD my investment change is now in the negative zone so let's assume that I don't want to bear this loss I don't want to uh, <laughs> uh, I don't want to agree to close the bot uh, at the negative value change I don't want to click on it right now but I don't want I, I want for the price to to appreciate to that point at which my investment change is going to be zero at least zero percent all right by that i lose nothing so if i click on close and the close at break even pr price the bot automatically sets this break even uh, take profit zone sorry order at which and you see that's the exact price which the market must reach in order 
for my investment change to be zero so it will automatically sell all of the ERD at that price as soon as it reaches this level so that's 0 0.024 right now you see we are trading over here so the price must reach this level in order for my investment change to be zero so yeah and yeah if you want to um, close the board but you also want to keep some of I mean you want to keep all of the base currency then your option is going to be just cancel all open orders and what is left this will go to your balance you so you will have this on your balance yeah so that's what we have here at Bitscap five exit strategies take profit stop loss uh, cancel all open orders that's the third one the fourth one is to sell the market price and the final one is to sell at the break even price so I think that's <laughs> enough of the instruments for you to uh, to choose based on which you want to uh, exit from the market so the monthly performance is back tested in calc sorry yeah just I see some errors here so do we take into account the compound effect when we calculate backtesting? Well, <coughs> no, we don't take it as of now. Uh, we only calculate, sorry, we calculate annualized estimate and monthly estimate. So when you decide whether to trade NG to Bitcoin or BNB to BUSD, you will find out that here you have this annual estimation based on monthly returns and you have this annual estimation for BNB as well which you can compare with each other it doesn't take into account the compound effect because as I already mentioned the uh, value change of the base currency is not considered in this cal calculation as of now alright so sooner or later maybe not maybe yes you will have this feature in backtesting because you see it 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 takes a lot of computational power and some uh, some tools to be reconsidered so let's come back and see if there are any other questions let, let, let's choose the last one yeah by the way um, big shout out to Erwin for uh, answering to all of your questions thanks Erwin I think we were just out for a minute due to some internet connection errors well yeah just to conclude guys uh, use demo mode to experiment to find your optimal strategies to develop your existing strategies and with automation you can actually diversify your trading strategies so you can have narrow grid setups you can have wider grid setups that I have here so this all provides trading diversification and you can backtest strategies before jumping into trades so you have all of the metrics you have all of the instruments to maximize your potential return and to limit your losses in case if the market starts falling so yeah i appreciate your time thanks a lot waiting for your feedback as we use your feedback to develop the quality of our webcasts uh, watch a series of previous webcasts on our youtube channel and i'm also producing some short uh, videos for you to grasp the uh, logic of automated trading at beatscap some features so soon new video will be released at beatscap so stay tuned um, if you have some questions unanswered then you can use our telegram chat or you can use the uh, chat box on the main page here where you have our kind community managers to answer your questions so we are here for you guys to trade I mean to optimize trading to let you uh, stay in the market and to yeah to, ha to just follow this market rally together with Bitcoin so we, we, you have all of the instruments to follow this rally and you're welcome um, see you next Thursday hopefully and I wish you a profitable trading once again thanks a lot stay safe love peace see you next time